Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not welcome, back. We are so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the little bell next to it and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. I post daily, Monday through Friday, and occasionally I'll sneak one in on the weekend. And please feel free to leave a comment. I read them all, and I do my best to answer or respond to each one. And if there's questions, I do my best to answer those questions too. If you could put your questions in all capitals so that they stand out, that would really help me too. When it comes to grocery shopping, there is no such thing as loyalty. I had this discussion with a fellow the other day. He was asking me about brand loyalty. And I said, no, I am not brand loyal. And I often hear people say that it takes too long to go to one supermarket or that it's a waste of time to visit a particular store just to pick up one or two things. I've even been told that it costs more in um, time and in petrol to shop at more than one store just to save money, that you spend more than you save in those things. Well, you may think it's a waste of time to shop at more than one store, but let's look at the big picture. You make up your shopping list. And you use only the flyers for the one store, whether they come in the letterbox or they get sent to your phone or email. You list the specials and you add those to your list as you need them. Then you hit the supermarket. Even if you stick closely to your list, buying the things that are on sale, there are going to be things that you are buying and paying more for that could be on sale at another supermarket. The difference in your grocery bill when you do this, when you shop this way, can be significant. Now, it doesn't need to take you any longer to do your shopping at two or three or more supermarkets if you plan your trip. Most Australians, at the very least, have two, if not all three, of the major supermarkets within a 10-minute drive of their homes. So even today when petrol's very expensive, the cost is not really a consideration, especially when you consider that well, they're often going to those um, shopping centres anyway for other things. And most of us will pass one or two supermarkets in our daily travels too. So again, the cost of fuel isn't really an issue. By having a plan, and by sticking to it, I can do a, you know, four-week grocery shop in under an hour. And it saves me money. It saves me time. It saves me energy. Don't be conned into thinking that just one supermarket will save you money, regardless of the advertising, regardless of the emotional blackmail they use to entice you into that store to get you to spend money. Remember, supermarkets pay really big bucks to marketing agencies to come up with the tactics to lure you in and encourage you to spend your money. And it's usually on the things that you don't really need and don't really want. Now that's okay. They can spend their money on what they want. It's their money. And guess what? You can spend your money on what you want too. It's your money. As long as you know that that you are spending that money. Now, I believe in capitalism and free enterprise and marketing companies are entitled to make money as much as you and I. But just as we are entitled to make conscious decisions about where and how we spend our money, we need to be aware that when we hit the shops, someone's going to be trying to part us from it. Someone is going to try and hit the, the emotional triggers to make us spend more than we plan. Now, another objection to grocery leapfrogging that I hear 
is that there are only two supermarkets to choose from. That's great. You'll save even more time because you'll only have two lots of junk mail to go through if you get it or two lots of flyers to read on your phone or your laptop if you have them that way. That's brilliant. It'll save you time. Be grateful. And then you only have two supermarkets to go to. So your travelling time is going to be cut. Your fuel use is going to be cut. You can save money by grocery leapfrogging, even if you live in a little country town. Now, you don't need to live in a capital city to play this game. You can play it anywhere. Lastly, do not be loyal to any store. There is no one supermarket that will always have the cheapest prices, regardless of what the advertising says. Sometimes they do. Sometimes the competition will be cheaper. Sometimes the lost leaders will be incredible at the most expensive store simply to lure you in in the hope that you'll fail like most other shoppers and just keep on shopping, buying what you see just because you're already in the store. If you do that, the supermarket's won the leapfrogging game and you've been conned out of your money. But if you go in only by the lost leaders because you are grocery leapfrogging and don't have store loyalty, then you are the winner every single time. Your bank balance will thank you and it will confirm it. And you'll be a savvy shopper, not a loyal sucker. Before I go, thank you so much for watching all the way through and subscribing. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you do, start that comment with Leapfrog so I know that you've watched all the way to the end. Feel free to share this video or any others on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to grow and to be recognised more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is perfectly okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, and absolutely possible even in today's crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone. <laughs>